Okay, so the next thing to do is to add activities for our home search activity and account pages. So we're going to go up to main, right click, new, activity, blank activity. We'll call this one the home activity, finish. All right, we're going to, since these are all going to be similar and all tied together, I'm going to add them at the same time. Um, let's go up here to main, new, activity, blank activity. This is going to be the search activity, finish. And again, we're going to go up to main, new, activity, blank activity. I'm going to call this one the activity activity but for some reason it doesn't like that when you do that because I think activity is such a core part of the language of Android so I'm just gonna call it the active activity and see if it is a little more okay with that so let's go to finish and then finally let's go main right click new activity blank activity and call this the account activity Okay, now let's go through and set these all to absolute layout. So let's start at the, and I'm in the layout part here. Let's start with the home activity. Okay, double click on this. Absolute layout. Get rid of the padding. Let's go to the search activity. Double click on relative layout. Change it to absolute layout. Get rid of the padding. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here for, what's the next one? The active activity. Okay, get rid of the padding. And last but not least, we'll do that for the account activity. Absolute layout. Get rid of the padding here. Okay, good. Now what's the next step? Well, the next step is to let's add all the assets, the image views with the background. Okay, so for home, I'm going to get rid of the hello world. We're going to go to our widgets image view, drag it there up to the component tree in the absolute layer. Go down here, set the source. The source is going to be, oops, scroll down to the bottom and home. Boom. Okay. Nice, now let's go to the search, okay? Design tab, bye-bye world. Uh, absolute layout, widgets, we're gonna go to, oh, I collapsed that there, there we go. Image view, drag that up to absolute layout here. We're gonna set the source, SRC, and this is the search view and search, search, search. There we go. Okay, good. Now we're getting somewhere. Now let's go to our active activity design. And we'll go to get an image view, drag it on here, go down to the source, select the source. And the source for this one is going to be, remember we called it active because it was really the activity activity. So, but Android, it seemed like it didn't like it when it did it before. So I'm just being careful. Um, okay, and now let's go to account. Oops, double click on account. Design, we're gonna get rid of the hello world. I'm going to go to the image view, drag it up here like that. Go down to SRC, click here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to I have account. That's my account image. Okie dokie. All right, now let's hook up hotspot buttons on these so that when we click, it changes to that screen. So let's start off with the home screen. Okay, add a button, drag it on right there. Let's get rid of that. Oops, okay. You know what, I'm happy with that size, close enough. Alpha, set it to zero so it's transparent. I'm gonna hit return. 
Okay, now remember we gotta set that on click. So since it's going to search, I'm gonna say on search. Hit tab to lock it in there. Good, verify, there it is, on click, on search. Shortcut here to the Java file. So we've done this a million times, we're doing it again. Public void on search view, which we'll call V for now, curly braces. Now our code in here, right? We're gonna, we're gonna have an intent. What's the intent's name? It's called I. What kind of intent? Well, it's a new intent. And where is it going, coming from? Well, it's coming from the home activity, right? That's this, comma, and it's going to the search activity search activity, see right there, dot class, right? We put our semicolon at the end because that's how we end lines in Java. We start activity and we match that with intent I. Now, just notice, I don't have to call this I, I could call this intent transition and I could say start activity transition. You know, we'll just leave that there to transition to prove that to ourselves trans did I spell it right okay um, let's see here remember when we get these red highlighted things option return and then sometimes it'll ask us to import class if it does then that's what we do same thing option return okay good now remember this is tab bars we're not going to want any animation between that so I'm gonna go ahead and override these animations right now. This is just gonna disable it. So it's just gonna go from screen to screen without any animation. And I think that'll simulate the tab experience pretty well. All right, so now we've done the home. Now that takes us to the search. Let's add a button here. So now we're on the search. We're gonna add a button over here. Let's get rid of the text. All right, I'm good with that size. Alpha, zero, that's gonna make it transparent. Go down here, on click, right? That's what, that's the function we're gonna call when it gets clicked. Um, but this time, since we're going to the activity tab, or we called it the active tab, I'm gonna just call it on active, okay? Tab to lock that in. Text to check it here. C to shortcut to Java and We'll write our code here, make a little space. Okay, you remember this, right? Public void, okay? And then on active, because that's what we called it. View V, curly braces. Okay, and we're gonna make a new intent. I, right, we could call this intent jelly bean if we wanted to, that'd be fine, it doesn't matter. Just as long as we're consistent. So intent jelly bean, what kind of intent? Well, it's a new intent. Okay, where's it going? Well, where, where's it coming from? Well, it's coming from the search activity. Dot this. Oops. My caps, okay. Caps locked. Okay, and where is it going to? Well, it's going to the active activity. I see that right there, dot class. Let's put our semicolon at the end there. Start activity, but this time, which activity? We're gonna start activity, jelly bean, right? Okay, cool. And again, we're gonna override our pending transition because we don't want any animation, okay? These red things, what do we do? We hit option, return, import class, Click on this option, return, and it's just gonna assume we mean import class. Okay, excellent. We're on a roll. Let's go to the active activity. That's where we're at now. Okay, so now we're here. Let's add a button to take us to the account tab. I'm gonna clear the text there. All right, alpha, zero, now it's transparent. 
set the on click. Okay, this is going to be on account. But I hit the caps lock. Okay, on account. I think account has two C's last time I checked. Okay, tab, lock it in. Text, boom, it's there. Java. Okay, public void. So I'm starting to get sloppy, going fast. On account view v okay new oh, sorry i'm going to make an intent i it's going to be a new intent where is it coming from well it's coming from the active activity dot this and it's going to the account activity dot class put our semicolon start activity i and we'll override override pending transition zero zero okay i'm going to add one more button to oh option return get that red out of there option return get that out of there Whew, good now let's go to our account activity. And let's just add a button to take us back home. Okay. Alpha, zero. Now, I would have probably, if I was doing this for the first time, ran the emulator at almost every button I added. So this is kind of dangerous to be doing this all at one time. I've just done this before, so I'm pretty positive that's gonna work. But again, I would have ran the emulator more. We're gonna run it right after we do this button. Okay, let's add an on click. Okay, this is gonna be on home, bring it on home. Okay, tab, lock it in, boom. Text, it's there. Go to Java. Okay, one more, public void and public void on home right or view that's named v we're naming it v okay and we're gonna have an intent and we'll call this one i just because i don't know starts with an i but we could call it anything new intent where are we coming from? Well, we're coming from the account activity. Dot this. And we're going to the home activity dot class. Okay. Put in the semicolon. Start activity. I, right? Because that's what we named it. And let's override the pending transition. Zero, zero. That'll take out the animation. And let's do the option return to get the red out of there. And option return to get the red out of there. And okay. So what is going on here? Aha. See, I noticed that there, see all this? That means something is not good in code syntax. I accidentally capitalized this void, right? So the problem is if you do a lots and lots and lots of different edits, and then you have a lot of those things, sometimes it's hard to get back. Now, luckily I saw, wait a second, what's going on? And I remember, wait, from the past, it just, I remember them both being bold and it's not. So I'm thinking something's wrong with the void. So there we go. And that should, okay, whew, that got rid of all that. Let's run this to see if the app gods are smiling upon us and hopefully it'll actually run. So let's, okay. Okay, so terms, email, password, I'm sorry, oops. 
Oh, that's right, we didn't hook it up. So there's no bridge right now between the login and the home screen. So we could either put a bridge so we could get to it, but let me show you another thing we can do. So I don't know if you remember, but in the Android manifest, there's this thing called the intent filter. It's this right here. See, we have these are all our different activities. You probably recognize this one, the name login activity, terms activity, login email activity, login password activity. If we put this, if we cut it, there can only be one, but if we cut this out and we add it at the in between one of these activities, that's where our app will start. So let me let's cut this. I'm gonna hit Command X, right? Or let's see. I'll right click and say cut. Okay, let's start this over here at our home activity. So I wanna make sure it's it's in within that little bracket there. Okay, so there's our intent filter. Okay. All right, so this intent filter tells the app where it's gonna start. Right now it says, let's start at the login activity. Well, let's say we want it to start at the home activity, right? Because we wanna test out that string of activities um, without having to go through the login activity right now. So let's cut this out and notice it comes right after that little bracket right there. Okay, so I'm gonna right click, cut. I'm gonna go down here to our home activity, paste that in here. Now, when I run this, it should run from the home app. Okay, and there's our home app. So let's see if our buttons work. Yay, they work. Of course, we can't go back because we didn't hook those buttons up, but those work. All right, awesome. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to hook this up for to create, and we want that to come up from the bottom. And then we need to hook the likes up and go back and then we're done. Okay, so again, let's go to main. We're gonna make two more activities. New activity, blank activity. We're going to call this the create, because that's the create blog, create activity. Okay, and then we're gonna make another one called likes activity okay so let's go to the layout here let's change the relative layout to absolute layout right get rid of all the padding here let's go to the likes one do the same thing absolute layout get rid of the padding okay now let's uh, do the design. So let's go to design tab here. We'll get rid of this hello world. What are we gonna do? We're gonna put an image view. Drag it in there, the absolute layout. Source is going to be our, what is it, create? Oh, I'm, I called it new blog here. Okay, create, but it's this one. All right, excellent, looks good. Let's go to the likes page. And oops, did I put this on the likes one instead? Oh, I did. This should be the create. Okay, so not a big deal. Let's go back to the likes. So I put the wrong image. This one actually should be the, the likes. So let me go back, change the source image to likes. Okay, good. Let's go to create here. Let's get this one to the right image view. Image view, I'm gonna draw it on there. 
drag it on there. And source. Okay, so that's the that one should be the new block. Got it. Okay, great. So now from the home activity is where we can access. I'm going to go to the design here. Home activity, there's that, the create new blog. So um, add a button. Okay, so button, just like we've been doing all day. Get rid of that. Maybe resize it just a little bit so it fits nice over there. Is that close enough? Are we okay? okay there we go. Make it a little taller. Okay. Sometimes it resizes. Okay, there we go. Okay, alpha zero. And we're going to go to on click. We're going to call this on create, right? Because we're creating a new blog post. Tab to lock it in. Let's go to the text uh, on create. Let's go to the Java for this one. Let's go in the middle here. Let's do public void on create view v you've seen that a few times now curly braces we're going to have intent i equals new intent and this intent's going from the home activity dot this and it's going to the create activity Create activity dot class. Add our semicolon at the end there. Start activity, and it's I. Okay. In this one, I want to come in from the bottom and up to the top. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to do override transition, and we're going to do remember r dot anim dot, and there was this abc slide in from the bottom okay that's where the new one's coming from and the old one can r dot nm dot abc slide out top cool so that should be that should do that now i want to be able to get back so once i get to the create screen i got to make a little button here so take a button boom put it right there let's Clear that, okay. Let's make the alpha zero. Let's say this is, say, on back. Tab to lock that in. Text, boom, it's there. Java. Now this one, I know we've written public void a million times, um, and we're gonna do it again here. <laughs> void on back, but we are gonna get a little break here because we can just say finish, um, and that will just go back to whatever activity we were at. But if we want to do the opposite animation, we're going to go override pinning transition, and then we're going to go r.anim. Okay, so the new one now is going to slide in top. And the old one, the create is gonna um, r.anim.abc, and that's gonna slide out bottom. Okay, and this view is red. We don't like that option return let's go ahead and run that okay so I click this woohoo all right I'm happy with that okay so now let's from the, da, 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 where is it, the account activity. Let's check out the design of the account activity, get some more space here. Um, remember, we wanted to hook up the 
likes part. So add a button over here, get rid of that. Alpha, where's alpha? There you are, alpha. Zero, make it clear. On click, okay, we'll call this on likes. All right, tab to lock that in. Text, good, there it is. And let's uh, say public void on likes view v curly braces. And we're going to say intent i equals new intent. Uh, where are we coming from? Well, we're coming from the account activity, account activity, dot this, and we're going to the likes activity, dot class. Okay, we're going to put the semicolon there. And for this one, I think we'll just use the stock animation. Um, but we've got to start the activity. I excellent. Okay, and then if we go to the likes here, um, we just need a button so we can go back. So we'll drag that on here. We'll say alpha is zero. We'll say on back. Now notice we've used on back before. Um, but as long as it's not in the same activity, you can use it again. Now we wouldn't want to use the same on back for an on click method if we were on the same activity, that would be very confusing to the computer. Um, okay, so this one is likes activity. And this is going to be public void on back. View V curly braces. Then we're gonna this one, these ones are nice, right? When we're just going back, we're just kind of dismissing the view to go back to wherever it was. Um, which uh, remember this view doesn't really know it just it won't always go to a specific one. So if another view went to this and you did the same one, it'll go back to that view, which can be nice. Um, finish. And we'll just leave the stock animation. Let's uh, click, oh, that's a colon, not a semicolon. Here, uh, and, okay, and everything works. All right, so let's add this one more time. Run it. Here, up here, zero errors, zero warnings. Something to think about. Okay, home. All right, there's that. Excellent. Let's go here and likes and back. Excellent. Okay. So now let me take, uh, let's start from the beginning. Let's hook up the login to the home. That's the last thing we need to do. And on that one, we're going to add a delay in order to simulate that loading process. Um, so there's one or two elements of complexity we're adding. So let's go back to the Android manifest. We'll take this intent filter here. I'm gonna cut, right? Cut. And we'll take that up to the beginning. Where are we? Login activity. Good. Right after that. Okay. So let's just make sure that it logs in in the right spot. Okay, good. We're here. Okay, so now what we need to do is from let's see log in this is the login password is the last login right so from here we need to click this button and we need to go to our home screen so first let's add a button over here okay let's make the alpha zero okay let's go ahead and call this on home right because that's where we're going we're going on home okay lock that in text on home great let's go to the java 
Let's at least set up our button click first. Okay, so public void on home view v curly braces. Okay, now whatever happens when we click that is gonna the code in here is gonna run. Okay, whenever we click on home. Okay, option return to get rid of that. It says import class this time. Yes, that's what we want to do. Import class. So um, on some level, at some point, we want to do this, right? We want to, just like we've always been doing, have an intent, right? That's a new intent. We want to tell it, okay, well, where are we at now? We're in our login password activity. And we want to go to our home activity, right? And we want to tell it, we're going to have to tell it, we'll start this activity, I. But in order to do the, lo the loading, the loading simulation, we want this to happen after a delay, okay? So we're going to use a delay method here. Okay, so let's check out this delay method. Okay, so I'm gonna give a little space here. So for our delay method, we're going to write in new handler. Dot post delayed. Okay, and you know what? It's gonna autofill better if I do my little option return on here. Um, this is, which one? Is it an Android OS or it's an Android OS handler? Okay, let's go back here. Um, new handler dot post, okay, good. Post delayed. And in the post delayed, I'm gonna say new runnable. It's going to kind of autofill all that for me. Um, this is in uh, our guides, so I don't expect you to memorize this. Um, okay, so here we'll add a comma, and then this is going to be what the delay is in milliseconds. Okay, long delay, delay in milliseconds. Okay, and then at the very end, we need our semicolon. Okay, good. So anything that's in here will run, but it's gonna wait for three seconds first. So before, this is our intent, right? I'm gonna cut this out, and I'm gonna paste that in here. So it's gonna wait th three seconds and then run. Let's see if that works. So email, click there. Oh, hadn't ran yet. Okay, there we go. Email, click here, click here. Okay, now should wait three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, good. Woohoo! Awesome. Now, to make this one step closer to loading, what we want to do is I want to switch that background image for that three seconds to the static loading state. Okay, it's not gonna have the spinning thing, but at least it'll be simulating that loading state. So here's what we're gonna do. So this is the delay, but before, right when I click, I want it to immediately switch image, okay? So let's go back to the design here. And in the design, I'm going to give this image view here, right, that's holding the background, I'm gonna give it an ID so that I can talk to it in the code. So ID, oops, is the button, image view. I wanna make sure I'm selected that, ID. I'm gonna call this back image view. 
gonna call this well let's call this background back background image view usually notice how this is that camel casing too right where you have lowercase and then everything else is uppercase um, the starting of words so the reason I'm calling it this is I want to know just looking at this that this is an image view and the background tells me what's in it right so if I saw this I know it was an image view background pretty safe to say that probably the background image is going to be in it. okay so good so tab again or return okay, okay so now that's locked in background image view now if I check my text I can see here in my image view that Android ID background image view okay let's go back here so I'm gonna make a new variable and it's gonna be of the type it's gonna be a new image view okay and I'm gonna call it um, background image view I'm gonna name it the same thing as the idea or as the ID just to keep things consistent okay and I'm gonna say this new variable is equal to something that's of type image view but which image view is it okay so we're going to say it's of type image view um, we're going to use this little method here find view find view by id so find view by id well what's the id well we just we just gave it an id right um, but we have to tell it where to look so r that stands for resources kind of like we use for the anim but instead of r dot anim we say r dot id dot and it's going to have um, a lot of options and so when we say ba look it already says oh you're talking about the background image view oh yeah yeah i know that image view they're cool okay don't forget the semicolon so now we've basically said background image view is that specific image view now what I need to do is I need to set the image that's in it. So if I say, okay, so so I'm talking about background image view, um, and I want to set image drawable. Remember, drawable are images, and in order to do that, I need to go get resources. And while I'm in the resources, I need to get drawable. Sorry, dot get drawable. It's like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay, and um, and what drawable are we talking about? Well, let's look in here at our drawables. Uh, we have this one here, S Tumblr load Tumblr loading, right? This is what we want. So I need to get SCN Tumblr loading. So let's go back here and say. I need you to get in the resources, oh, that's the R. I need you to go into the drawables folder, okay? And I need you to get the screenshot SCN Tumblr loading, there it is, boom. Okay, so that's gonna set the image to that. So when we push the button, it should set the image right away to that, and then it should hold for three seconds and then do the transition. Let's see if we actually can get that to happen here. All right, zero errors, zero warnings, always a good sign. All right, click on email to get it focused, do some typing, type in my password, and loading. There we go, awesome. We can click through here, back, Go through our tabs, our likes, and back. Okay, well that concludes this course and this demo. So check out the challenge and see how well you can do that. I know you're gonna do great. Bye.